let's add a third person character that can move around in this scene. Now the scene has already been set up according to the previous video, so the camera controller exists and the game game object exists. So from there, we'll want to go to the Tools, Opsiv, Ultimate Character Controller, Character Manager menu option. And that's going to open up this dialog, so let's just go ahead and go through the options. For perspective, we want a third person character, and we're going to leave the movement type at Adventure. And Adventure has a character moving forward relative to themselves. So this adventure movement type will not allow the character to strafe or move backwards. If, for example, I were to have the character moving towards the camera by pressing the S key, then the character will be running forward just towards the camera. So there's no backwards or strafing with the adventure movement type. The character field will specify which model we want to use for the character and we're going to use the Nolan model. So let's just drag that in. And Nolan is a humanoid. Both humanoids and generics are supported. Um, but with Nolan we're going to use humanoid and we can use this default demo animator controller because it, this animator controller is set up for humanoids. Now these other options we're going to leave them at their default. I just want to point out that Ragdoll is selected, so when I hit Build Character, a new wizard is going to pop up and it will allow us to create our Ragdoll colliders. So when I hit Create, you'll see some new colliders added to the Nolan model. So now the character is created. So let's go ahead and hit Play, and we should be able to see that we're moving around in the scene. So that's all there is to it in order to create a new third-person character.